a new episode of Conflicts. Today I'm excited to show you the all new Devastator. Now this here is actually a cool looking tank robot sent over by DF Robot. For your very own, check out their link down below. Now this here is actually a unique looking tank robot that you actually have to build from the ground up. So I'm excited to go ahead and build it and I'm excited to try it out. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a closer look at the box before opening it up. Alright, so this here is our box and as you can tell it does show the robot here on the front. Uh, it does say tank mobile platform, so it's actually a very cool looking box. Uh, it's got like a nice white etch to it and then that's about it in terms of that. So let's go ahead and open this up. Now it just kind of slides open like that. And then right off the back this actually falls out so you got some cool looking uh, DF robot stickers. Thank you for that. And then uh, on the top here we have, looks like an instruction manual. So I'm assuming, yep, so this kind of shows you step by step on how to build this. Uh, and then just kind of talks about exactly what you have to do. So it's quite easy and quite detailed. And then these here are our components. So let's go ahead and slide these out. All right. And then you just go ahead and open it like this. And as you can tell, everything is pretty nicely labeled. Uh, so you got some wheels here. We got ourselves uh, the tank wheels as well. Uh, this here's part of the frame. Uh, it's metal material, which is quite nice. Uh, then we have a few more frame pieces. And then I believe this is the front right here. So you can see the face. <laughs> that looks really cool. And then over here, I'm, I'm going to imagine we have all the nuts and bolts that we need to build this. So again, everything is nicely packed. Uh, all the letters are put together. Here's our motors. Uh, and then we got a few different wirings. This is for the battery pack and then our nuts and bolts. So with that being said, let's build this bad boy. All right, so our tank is finally done and this thing looks like a real tank. I really did enjoy building this, especially with all the small details. Uh, with that being said, the suspension work is very unique. There's three springs on each side and they do fully compress, meaning you do get a good amount of play, which allows you to go over a lot of different bumps as well as hills. Now, the robot itself is made out of a very nice material. This is almost like a brushed aluminum. Uh, and it's kind of looking like a face over here as well. So it does give it a little bit of personality. Now, it's made out of a very nice high quality material, especially with the wheels and whatnot. So I do see it being a great robot in terms of battling as well as doing different obstacles. Now, the only downside is this robot does not come with any kind of computer system, meaning you actually have to install your own Raspberry Pi or Mega Pi. Now in this case here, I went ahead and put a Raspberry Pi from our Make Block kit. And now we're gonna go ahead and try it out just to kind of give a better feel of how it works. So as you can tell, the motors itself work quite well uh, in the sense that the robot itself can do a lot of different things and it gives you an idea what exactly it can do. Now if you guys had any questions about this tank robot, feel free to comment down below. And do note that you can always go ahead and build on top of it, meaning there's actually mounts on the top here where you can build even like a claw or a camera and just about anything you want to do with it. So with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, thank you again for watching and we'll see you guys next time. Take care now. Bye bye.